Praise and Awards. We're all about Praise and Awards. Was this one? Yeah. So Cassidy, our two-year-old daughter, if she wants to use the potty, she'll use the potty. If she doesn't want to use the potty, she will not use the potty. And this morning, she said uh, she said that her stomach hurt, and, and we said, "Oh, do you want to get on the uh, the potty?" She said, "Yes." And she got on the potty. She used the potty. And she used the potty, and it was a big celebration. Everybody is in celebration. <laughs> It's Karen happened Allen yesterday and today, yeah. Carson joins in and said, good job, Cass. So we're all good about that. So rewards, I always, we take her out. We, we video games have always sushi. been a thing. Sushi, food, <laughs> just like us. She's, she's our daughter. She's a foodie. And she loves mm. food and she enjoys the things, like more things for us to, you know, Spending time, spend, spend yeah, time, spend time, spend time with her. Spend time with her. It's mm-hmm. really like uh, that's what she wants, and that's what we reward her with. Mm-hmm. And then for like discipline and stuff, we also believe in um, sometimes giving you know choices. Or you know, Derek does a great job of explaining like there's consequences. Okay, well, the consequence will be this, or sometimes we give them a choice. It will be this or this. You know, what was you, what do you think? You know, which one would you like? And then I think it kind of empowers them too. But it's so funny because we I've overheard Carson telling Cassidy, you're not listening to mommy. What do you want to happen? Do you <laughs> want to, you know, miss out on this? Or do you want to do this? Which one's it gonna be? Yeah. And so here he's repeating the things that we're saying. And I just think that it's just the cutest thing. But the fact that, you know, they really, they're like little sponges and they're absorbing it also. It's like, this is our responsibility, you know, yeah. to, to teach. And it helps them because in life, there are consequences to everything. Mm-hmm. If you do something wrong, there's going to be a consequence. And a little story comes to mind. There was a year we were planning a uh, trip. I believe it was to New York City. New York City. Mm-hmm. Uh, over the holidays, the four of us were going to go. The kids were really excited. And at certain ages, our son and daughter have been known to be oil and water and uh, not, the, uh, not treat each other with the respect the that we time. would expect. And as a result, there was this one point in time where it was particularly uh, animated in that way. And we told them, we said, if you two can't stop fighting we will take away the trip. And there was a point where we had to say one more time and the trip is going away. Uh, We spent that holiday season at home. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to go to New York. It cost us in terms of we were looking forward to the break also, uh, but our children understood that when we say something, we mean it, uh, and that there are consequences for your behavior. And I, I really, that's something I think we both really, really believe in because too much of the time today, parents are trying to be a buddy to their child as opposed to a parent. I remember saying to my son when he was 16, I don't care if you like me right now, but when you're 40 years old, if you love God, and you're a contributing member of society. Oh, I've done my job.